Okay, this is day one of my garage door build. As you can see, I have a lovely garage. There is a gap at the bottom because I just I did pull off the one inch trim um, that was at the bottom, and then the rubber piece. So that's why the big gap. So I've already started working on it. So this is day one of my garage build, being that this door is 11 feet 9 inches by 6 feet tall. Not even close to anything standard. And nobody will deal with me. They can't custom cut, whatever. I think I could go out and get a custom garage door build. Well, that ain't going to happen because I don't have the money to do that. So down here is my 1x4. I'll go ahead and... uh. Raise the garage door there so you can get some light on the subject. But uh, so yeah, this is my one by four. I had to sand it. It's, it's prime. It was primered in white, and I had to sand it on one side where the glue is going to be at. So I want to make sure it's going to adhere to the plywood. So I have some walnut veneer plywood that should be delivered to Home Depot tomorrow, and I'll pick it up. Let me uh, show you the outdoor of it. There's the beautiful garage door there. It's beautiful, isn't it? See how it's all cracked up? It's on its last legs. Here's the bottom trim that I had at the bottom that I've already taken off. Um, so let's get a good close look up here. Yep, so that's what we're dealing with. Just a nasty garage door. It's a little cracked. And you can see it's in bad shape. And really, it's on its last legs. And therefore, I'm going to be building my own damn garage door. Um, over and out, for now. Okay, so what you're looking at is three panels. And this is walnut. So I ordered this on with Home Depot. It was 500 bucks for the for the walnut. I wanted a nice wood on the outside, so I chose walnut there. So it's half inch walnut veneer plywood. And uh, get a closer view of this. So there's three different panels here. And my garage door is going to be a little bit lighter, about 150 pounds. To 160 pounds total weight my old garage door is about 180 so what I did I stepped on a scale held up one panel and subtracted my weight to figure out what the panels were so it took me a long time to research and figure out how I could build a lightweight or as light as I could garage door it wasn't going to require heavier springs and, and a bigger motor because I only have a one-third horsepower. So that can handle up to about 170 pounds or so. Otherwise, if the garage door was 200 or plus, I'd have to get a new motor and a bigger spring. So here's my spring there. I did order some bigger springs that were two to handle a 200 pound door, but I ended up making it lighter, so I took those back. Those are the original springs there. Well, actually those are new, uh, fairly new, because I had to buy one, one snapped. <laughs> and it didn't have a safety cable on, so it made a big loud bang. So you could imagine if these things snap and hit your head or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause the video there so I can uh, show you uh, the boards a little closer, or at least the planks. Okay, so that's the back side of each of the three different panels. So that's one by four with half inch walnut veneer plywood. So I used a, a pocket jig there to screw in each and of course The plywood is glued to the frame and nailed with a nail gun. And some, some of that, I had to put some other finishing nails because my nail gun got jammed and the glue was drying, etc. So I was going to go with wood glue, but I decided to go with liquid uh, 
Liquid nails. Where is that stuff? There we go. Liquid nails. There we go. Liquid nails, heavy duty. So this is supposed to handle extreme weather, all weather, all season. I did some research. It, it, see, it can handle really extreme temperatures and so forth. So I was going to use wood glue, and I thought, ah, oh, just opt for liquid nails. It is a different type of glue, and hopefully that'll keep it intact and so forth. So anyway, this is day three. You missed a couple of days here. I've been just kind of working on this in between my work at home, job, etc. So this is a four day weekend. This is a Labor Day weekend and uh, I turned it into a four day weekend. So I've got off tomorrow. So we should have this together. I think I'll invite Brennan over to help me lift the garage because once I get all the planks set up, we got to lift the garage door up here and then secure the springs because you can't those springs are really tight so you can only do it when the door is up and uh the door is going to weigh about 100 like i said 60 70 pounds maybe um with all the hardware i haven't really uh determined exactly what the weight's going to be but that's it folks see you later okay so here's the final well this is the the bottom panel, it's 18 inches down here, 21 inches down here. So there's my bottom panel there. I just mimicked exactly how that one was designed. So it's 18 inches on this side of the garage door and it's 21 there because of the slope of the driveway. So I was thinking back about why nobody wanted to work with me on this. Basically each panel was a different size. Some were 17 and, 17 and a half inches wide, others 18 and a half, some were 19. Mine are all identical, 18, 18, 18 on this end, 21 down there. At any rate, four times 18 is six feet. That's exactly what my garage door was. Six feet on this side, six foot three on that side. Anyhow, uh, it's got some funky brackets here. Show you what the hell's going on here. So this bracket, the bottom of the door actually has a, a so yeah anyway as you can see this bracket actually has a cut in it so this is two inches up the bracket went in that this hooks to here whoops let me get a better view of that okay so see how that sticks out that bracket get a better view of the at any rate the bracket hangs out pretty wide you can't buy brackets like that anymore so I gotta use the old ones but anyway this bracket is has a slit in it two inches up on this side where the door is actually 18 inches that side's 21 inches you have a cut in here so this bracket can fit in the slit, which I guess I'm gonna have to do that with mine because again as you can see that bracket sticks out quite a bit all the modern ones just have brackets just on the side here perfectly but I got a gap because that's where my rail is or whatever I've just got to use the original equipment at least the main brackets I bought all new ones for the the door panel stuff like that but for the bottom bracket and the top brackets or whatever i'm reusing it because uh, so it fits exactly from what the track that i have already set up anyway 
just some complications and stuff. Like I found it interesting that that's one inch. This is one inch, and the other side's two inches. Yet the door is three inches. That makes it interesting, doesn't it? So that's two inches, and then that's where they have the slit and that goes in. Uh, but I found it odd. That's one inch, and that's two inches. And, but yet yeah, that's three inches different on the, on this side. Anyway, they they did the math and figured it out. I'll just copy because that's what they did. At any rate, gotta get back to it. Okay, here's an update. Got the four panels lined up. Uh, give me an idea what the front of the door is going to look like here. Now the back panel has one coat of clear coat. And then I'll be putting on three coats per panel. Getting it all prepared to stack the panels and finish the garage off. Okay, folks, got my car running there. But uh, anyway, the garage door is done. Brennan came over and helped me with it. We had to do a lot of tweaking and adjusting and stuff like that. But we finally got it operating. It's not perfect, as you can see. When it goes down, it kind of kinks up to the right there. You'll see. See that? Other than that. Perfect sill at the bottom. Here it is coming up. Okay, we'll go outside now. Okay. Comes down. There's that little kink sound there. There she is, folks. Like I said, though, it does go really smooth. Just coming down, it's got sort of an issue there. But thanks to Brennan coming over yesterday, helping with it. We didn't really have time to film because we were too involved in this whole thing. It took us about, I don't know, four or five hours to get it uh, everything worked out. Thanks for watching.